Math 43, I had a question coming out of chapter 5, number 81. And here we were talking about wait times. Um, so we were told that these wait times for this bus, um, they're uniformly distributed. And they said these, these buses or the SkyTrain comes every eight minutes. So maybe you'll get lucky and you won't have to wait at all. And maybe you'll have to wait up to eight minutes. Now, I didn't write the, the distribution in this particular problem, but if I wanted to graph this, I would quite literally go from zero to eight, right? This would be wait times. And the units on this were minutes. We had that continuous numerical variable. I'm drawing my graph and I'm drawing a rectangle because it said, hey, go ahead and make it uniform. Uniform is code for rectangle. So since this base, and let me just change colors here for a second, this base right here, is eight units long and I can get that by just crunching the range, right? So if I look at my base, it's the same as the range. So high minus low gets me eight and that would make my height, it's reciprocal of one eight. So that's just a quick picture of what our distribution looks like. Now this problem says, what's the probability of waiting more than seven minutes given a person has waited more than four minutes? So when you hear that phrase given, you're gonna have that vertical bar in your probability statement. And if you've waited more than four minutes, the condition is that X is greater than four because again, X is your wait time. So it's saying given that you waited longer than four minutes, what's the probability that you're gonna wait longer than seven minutes? All right, now we have a probability formula from way back in chapter three. <laughs> chapter three. Uh, it's the probability of A given B is the probability of A and B over the probability of B. And so in this case, my A is X is greater than seven, my B is X is greater than four, and you see me quite literally just plugging those in to that formula. And so if you wanna calculate probabilities, which we do, and, and you have a uniform distribution, we're gonna use a lot of base times height, but the first thing we have to figure out is what does this X being greater than seven and being greater than four simplify to? And whenever you're talking about and, you're talking about an overlap. So if we head over here, Here's where I show the overlap, right? So I just pick the number line, x greater than seven, right? I would have this open dot here, I'd go greater than seven, x greater than four, open dot, I would go greater than four. And you can see where I boxed in red, that's where they overlap, all right? And they overlap from seven on up, right? Well, technically seven to eight, if we're gonna be specific because you don't wait longer than eight minutes, but it's seven on up, so if I wanna combine this in terms of an and. And when I say combine this, I mean combine the inequality x greater than seven and greater than four. If I wanna combine that and into one inequality, it'll just be x is greater than seven. Because if you've waited at least seven minutes, you're, you've already waited at least four. Like this doesn't give you any information. So they're overlapping and x is greater than seven. All right, so now it comes down to, I'm gonna use base, base times height. So I'm gonna color code this so we can see it. I'm gonna do the numerator base times height in yellow, and I will pick, well, let's go with green for the denominator base times height. All right, so let me again color code these. We got green and yellow. So let's do the yellow one first. So I'm gonna start with X is greater than seven. Let's start inside those parentheses. And if I wanna to go to greater than seven, I'm gonna put seven here on the X axis and maybe yellow isn't the greatest color to do that, but you can see me shading to the right. All right, and now my base here, all right, it's gonna be eight minus seven. I hope you can actually see that. So I'm gonna have a base of one minute and that's why you see me putting eight minus seven here and that eventually turns into one. All right, now let's try it with green. So if I wanna do green, I'm gonna look where is X greater than four? Well, now I'm gonna put a four on my X axis and I wanna shade all the way up here. So that base is gonna be eight minus four because base is always the range. So I get a four and again, that's where you're seeing the eight minus four. Now the height, the height's always uniform, right? It's always one eighth, so it's one eighth for that bottom probability and it's also one eighth for that top probability, but those two will always cancel out. And ultimately I get one over four or 0.25. All right, thanks so much everyone, bye.